This is shuttle launch control. Five minutes remaining in our hold at T minus nine minutes. This is the NTD conducting the launch status check. All stations thereby ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC, OTC go. TBC, TBC go. PTC, PTCs go. LPS, LPS is go. Houston flight. Houston flight is go. Mila, Mila is go. STM, STM is go. Safety console. Safety console is go. SPE, SP is go. LRD, LRD is go. SRO, SRO is go go. Copy, you go to go to five minutes and hold. Yes, we are good to go five minutes and hold. Copy. And CDR. Discovery is go. Launch director NTD. Yes, sir. The yeah, launch team is ready to proceed. SRO has a concurrence to go to five minutes. Okay, copy all that. I'll do my poll this time. KC Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thank you, Steve. KC Safety Mission Assurance. KC Safety Mission Assurance is go pending resolution of range issue. Copy. Halo Launch Manager. Mike, let's go. Copy. Range Weather. Weather has no constraints to launch. Copy. Thank you, Kevin. And Ops Manager. I see Mike on our side. Uh, MMT is in really good shape. Vehicle's looking perfect. Weather's looking great. We'll stand by here and see if the range can resolve their issue, but we are go. Okay. Copy that. And, uh, We'll take it on down to five and see if we can't get there. Yeah, that's a good point, Mike. Let's keep going. And KC Safety Mission Insurance? KC Safety and Mission Insurance. Let's okay. see. If we get uh, the go from SRO, you're going to be go. Is that a firm? We don't have to re you. Mike. Yes, we are go. All right. So we will not re you if we get a go from SRO. That's affirmative. Thank you, Scott Kerr. Just a few seconds away from resuming our countdown. Yeah, I'm going to resume on my mark. NTD Safety. Three. Step by Two. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. All countdown functions now automatically controlled by the GLS computer located in the firing room integration console. Thank you. Our window will expire. About five minutes after our preferred launch time. And Discovery OTC from the processing team of Discovery to the crew of Discovery, enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the work you did getting this uh, ready to go and uh, appreciate all, all your work. And for those watching, get ready to witness the majesty and the power of Discovery as she lifts off one final time. T minus five minutes. Four seconds and counting. Countdown clock is holding at two minutes, five minutes. Speed the manual over. Countdown clock is holding here. Two minutes and 48 seconds of hold time remain in today's launch window of Space Shuttle Discovery. seconds remaining in our launch window. Range is go. Fifteen seconds remaining in our hold. T-minus five minutes and counting. CLT, OTC, perform ATU start. CLT in work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Copy in work. T-minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. NT 
TD Houston flight, I have two seconds of train back home remaining. Two it's seconds. Copy that. Pilot Eric Bowe reporting three good auxiliary power units. T minus four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. Wing status, go for launch, and what is your status? We are go. Copy. Final test of the flight control surfaces is underway. This is a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the flight control surfaces, the elevons, speed brakes, and rudder. Minus 30 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete. Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed -pro series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. And we're completing the purge of the shuttle main engines. TLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLT in work. The gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Close the monster visors and initiate O2 flow. Copy and work. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon requesting pilot Eric Bow clear the caution and warning memory system. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power Discovery is now running on its uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. Start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Discovery's engines are now 
now throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go and throttle up. Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bow and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. It's altitude 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. Your two engine tau, uh, we do have updates to your no com mode boundaries, and we did launch late into pane one, our only pane. The uh, contingency abort boundaries we'll use are in plane plus 230. Let me know when you're ready to copy the new press to ATO and press to Miko. Copy, copy all. Two engine tau is ready to copy. Enter your press to ATO 11.9. Press to Miko, 15.4. It's a good read back on both. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should one of the engines fail, but all three engines continue to perform as expected. Capcom Charlie Hoba updating the crew there with some uh, updated uh, time information due to the later than planned launch. Three minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 4,700 miles an hour. Discover you are negative return. Negative return. Discover now traveling too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. But all three main engines continue to function as expected. The shuttle now traveling 5,200 miles an hour. It's altitude 62 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 170 miles. Four minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 6,200 miles an hour. It's altitude 66 miles. Downrange from KSC, 229 miles. Here inside Mission Control Flight Director Richard Jones and his team continue to monitor the progress of Discovery's flight. All systems are continuing to perform as expected. Discovery, you are pressed to ATO. Pressed to ATO. That call from Capcom, Charlie Hobai, indicating that Discovery has enough energy to make it to a lower than planned orbit should one engine fail at this point. However, all three engines continue to burn as expected. Discovery, you are single engine ops three. Single engine ops three.
Discovery's engines are now swiveling to roll the shuttle to a heads-up position to give better communication with NASA's tracking satellites. Discovery, your single engine, Zaragoza 104. Single engine, Zaragoza 104. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should two engines fail at this point, but the flight continues to go well. Six minutes, 24 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 9,800 miles an hour. Its altitude 67 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 447 miles. Miko, BIM for you, nominal shutdown on all three, and Pinto, you'll be go for the plus X and go for the pitch. Pinto, Miko, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Good read back. A call from Capcom, Charlie Hobart, indicating that Commander Steve Lindsay has a go to press to main engine cutoff as expected in about a minute and a half. Discovery, you are single engine press. Single engine press. Seven minutes, 15 seconds into Discovery's flight. Shuttle traveling 12,700 miles an hour. Its altitude 66 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 615 miles. Discovery's engines now throttling back to keep the forces on the crew and the shuttle to three times that of gravity. The shuttle traveling 14,000 miles an hour. Less than 30 seconds to go in Discovery's powered flight. We're coming up on main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff confirmed. Space Shuttle Discovery now in space. External tank separation confirmed. Commander Steve Lindsay will steer the shuttle up to the uh, forward portion of the external tank so that the umbilical well camera can, can capture some images of it. Discovery, we saw nominal MECO ohms one not required. Preliminary TIG for ohms two thirty seven thirty. Welcome to you and your veteran crew back to space. Copy, uh, no ohms one required. Thirty seven thirty preliminary TIG, and uh, thanks a lot. Good to be here. Good deal, panel. We'll meet you in the post-Ohms 1 tab. 